Hey guys, Thunder E here. Now you guys asked for a HDR version of the best smartphone camera on Android in low light conditions, and here it is. Uh, the same devices which we checked out uh, in a previous video, five phones in general, and we're going to set everything on HDR and take some photos in low light conditions. So the devices we have here are the Huawei P9, the HGC 10, LG G5, Nexus 6P, as well as the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Now, I know a few people had talked and said, hey, some devices will be better in low light conditions using HDR or HDR plus in whatever case may be. So we decided, hey, look, why? Might as well make that video for you. So this is what it is here. Now, a couple of things to note is that um, every single device has HDR uh, on. So with the Nexus 6 p is HDR plus, uh, but every device will have HDR on while taking photos in low light. Now for the Huawei P9, which has a night mode, the reason why the night shot mode is not in here because it takes forever, depending on the lighting situations like you see here, 16 seconds. So we are not using it in this video. So let's move on to our first photo shot. This is from the Huawei uh, P9. Now the P9 here, this is a shot here. You can see it's really dark all around. Um, you can see the white of the box. It's, it's a bird dynamics box, but you really can't read the lettering. There's a bag on the side also, the Adidas bag, which you can see is a little bit clearer here in the HTC video, but the HTC has darker edges and it's really focused on the image. It's still fuzzy, but it's much brighter. You can clearly see the box. You can also clearly see the Adidas letterings there. Now we move on to the Nexus 6P, much brighter. Uh, with HDR Plus, uh, everything is well lit in terms of brightness, but it, there's a lot of granulation on the picture. Uh, but you can see more uh, within the background, the boxes, the Predator G6 box at the back. Uh, as we move to the LG G5, it is brighter, but also cleaner. This has the least amount of granulation. You can see the color of the bag there. The Adidas bag is a blue color. You can read the bare dynamics on the box. So, um, and of course you can see things much clearer. And the uh, Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge here is probably the brightest. You can clearly see the color of the bag. It's more basically better lit. There's more granulation compared to say what we had with the LG um, G5. So as we look at all images and photos here, you can see that I think the brightest is of course the Galaxy S7 Edge. I think the the, the clearest photo is comes from the um, LG G5 with uh, the Nexus 6P coming in third in that department. So you can see the Nexus 6P gains a lot from HDR. Now, this is a photo of course of Volt Boy with the Huawei, um, the Huawei um, P9, and you can see here it's really dark. You can still see Volpoi clearly, but it's a really dark environment um, uh, in terms of just the background. Now, with the HTC 10, it was kind of weird that it was kept on giving me this image where it felt like it was almost black and white. Uh, so that you could focus on uh, Volpoi itself and give him a color. You can see Volpoi, but it's kind of giving this again, the darker edges in this really dark scene makes it look uh, black and white. Now from the Nexus 6P, you can see it's much brighter. Again, Nexus 6P takes advantage of HDR Plus um, and uh, you can see Volpoi uh, very well uh, with the Nexus 6P, you can see the lettering on the boxes, it's much brighter, you can see the dark and shaded areas. Now this is the LG G5. Uh, you can see it here, it's the cleanest image, but it's still a little darker. So LG uh, in certain situations has an issue where it will focus and give you a better look on the product, but the surrounding areas are darker. And as we move to the Galaxy S7 Edge, it has the brightest image. You can see it much clearer, much brighter, and I think gives you the best look of Volt Boy here with the boxes, the tilt box, everything around um, all together. So um, as we look at all the images here, I would say the Galaxy S7 Edge, uh, followed by the Nexus 6P and then the LG G5. Even though the LG G5 probably still has the cleanest image with less, the least amount of granulation on there. Now we move to our next photo here. This is Volt Boy with the Nexus, Nexus 6P and he's standing, this is a better lit area, still low light, but you can see a lot of granulation in, in the picture, uh, not, as, not as bright or sharp uh, with the 6P. Again, HDR Plus is on on every single smartphone. Now the HTC 10 does a really good job here, 
but it doesn't focus well enough. So you can see Vault Boy, but the focus isn't clearly there on the image. It's much brighter. Again, the darker um, shades on the edges right there. Very typical with HTC, I guess, in low light. The Nexus 6P, again, HDR Plus really helps. Um, you can see how bright it is. You can see Vault Boy clearly. There is some granulation in the image, but you do get a good, clear glimpse of, glimpse of Vault Boy in uh, this image. Now the G5 has a little darker tone, but I think it's again the sharpest image out. LG consistently makes a sharper image, although not as bright, and you can see Vault Boy pretty clearly and well, and the least amount of granulation in the image. Now as we move on to the Galaxy S7 Edge, it's the brightest image in terms of um, uh, capture. Um, the focus is a little off here with this, uh, but it does still do a good job in giving you a lot of light into the scene. So when we look at all of the images here, I would say, you know, of course, the brightest is the Galaxy S7 Edge. The best picture comes from the LG G5 uh, and then followed by the Nexus 6P. Um, but it, this is, of course, there's more light in this scene. Now, uh, as we always say, um, you know, taking low light photos depends on where you're actually taking the photos. So we replicated, of course, our club like scene or whatever you want to call it. And I've decided to take a few images of myself in this situation to see how well it would actually handle with a human being. So, of course, the Nexus 6, the Huawei, Huawei uh, P9 starts off much darker in terms of the uh, the picture itself. Um, you can clearly see me, but again, you can see uh, it's it's had a hard time in focusing there. As we move over to the HTC 10, it does a brilliant job here. It's really bright. It's clear, it's sharp. You can see uh, the images behind me. You can see the focus on me. It's quite clear. Um, I think HTC has done a really good job here with this. Again, lighting situations do differ. Now, the Nexus 6P does a good job here. Not as bright as the HTC 10, but closer to what the lighting is uh, in the room at that time. So I think it does. A, it did a pretty good job there um, overall. As we move over to the LG G5, LG G5 captures a lot of light. Also, I think a cleaner image. LG consistently has, I think, the cleanest image out of all the devices. Um, and you can see a lot of detail there uh, in terms of just the capture. And the Galaxy S7 Edge. Uh, S7 Edge here is really bright, really sharp, also a clean image and does some really good job in capturing the most out of the environment. So um, overall, I think um, here we have where, I, where HTC has the brightest image uh, and the two best images after that are from the LG G5 and the Galaxy S7 Edge, followed by the Nexus 6P, which is close, but the Huawei P9 lags way behind. So the HDR edition of our best Android smartphone uh, camera in low light is over. And well, the one camera that we won't use in low light is definitely the Huawei P9 compared to the other uh, four devices. I think um, overall um, the best improvement is from the Nexus 6P, uh, but the, you know, the LG G5, the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge do a fantastic job still. And I think are still slightly better than what you get from the Nexus 6P with HDR Plus. Uh, and the HTC 10 actually kind of lags behind a little bit. So um, if you want to take images or photos with uh, those devices, I would say with the Galaxy S7 Edge and the LG G5, um, you know, HDR Plus uh, on and off doesn't matter. With the Nexus 6P, you definitely need to have HDR Plus up and the HTC 10, you might want to turn it off and the Huawei P9, just don't even try it. All right, guys, that is it. That's the video you asked for. If you have any questions, any comments, let us know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. If you're watching for the first time, definitely hit the subscribe button. We love new subscribers and always enjoy your entertainment.